He was watching a video earlier where they were smashing switches and was talking about smashing no switches. No smashing! Like exactly. Because no, we spent 20 breaking. minutes we're telling him he's not allowed to smash his. Hello, folks, and welcome to another weekly vlog. Goodness me, it is March already. As you can see from the, the sun shining all around me, it's a glorious day, beautiful weather. Actually, not too cold out there. Here's a, here's a little bit of calendar fun to start us off on this week's vlog. I've just had a little bit of a play around with some dates. And by the time this video comes out, so for me, a week from today, by the time this video comes out, we'll actually be closer to our holiday in Disneyland <laughs> that's coming up in May than we are to the Christmas that's just gone. And that feels absolutely baffling to me. Christmas feels like it was only last week. It was, it was more than two months ago now. It is insane. I know they say that as you get older, time starts to move much faster. And I don't really notice it on a day-to-day -day basis, but goodness me, when I, when I look up, blink for a second and realise it's March, whereas in my head we've only just finished doing Vlogmas, that's when I start to realise, goodness me, am I getting old. But worry not, because I am... <laughs> I am restarting my effort to extend my life today. Um, new diet started yesterday, actually, but starting this week um, after the disaster that was Slimming World. I think you've seen the Slimming World video by now. There's the pressure to make sure Future Kev has got that out for you before this video so you understand what the disaster was. If you haven't seen that video yet, there'll be a link to that down in the description below. But new diet starts today. I am calorie counting this month, which I'm looking forward to. I think this is going to be really successful. I'm also back to the gym today um, I'm just picking Anna up from work now once we've got Anna we're gonna head to the gym um, get get back in there for the first time in a couple of weeks certainly since before we went down to London and uh, as soon as we get and as soon as we get back from that we've got a shopping order arriving from Tesco with all of our nice healthy foods it's a relatively normal week we've got ahead of us this week and um, there's no gallivanting off around the country for various things um, the only thing I guess we have got that is a big thing is we hear this week hopefully whether or not Anna got the job that she applied for or that she went to the interview for last week but other than that it's a fairly standard week kids at school Anna at work in uni and me finally having a normal week of work for the first time in ages now we just need Anna to get out here gym complete for the first time in two weeks how did you find the gym upon your return want the people to phone me back Anna is still waiting, waiting to hear about her job <sighs> early next week definition of Google is Monday slash Tuesday middle of the week is Wednesday Thursday and end of the week is the rest of the who Googles what <laughs> early next week is? I want to know. They said early next week. I'm guessing Tuesday. Much later in the day, as you can see, I've put on a snazzy shirt. If you want to know why I've got a snazzy shirt on, I can't tell you. I had to sign a thing. Um, clue, World Autism Awareness Day is approaching. Baby Jim. Keep an eye out for Baby this shirt, Jim. and then you'll know what day I did the thing that I can't tell you about. The reason I've turned the camera on now though, as you can see, this gentleman behind me is now home baby from school. Jim. Andy! Funny baby Jim. It is funny baby, baby Jim. Jim. What is baby Jim? The bell's baby Jim. Get your hands out your trousers. Baby Jim. I think Jim. it was just up his trouser leg that time, but still, goodness me. Baby he has had a different activity go on at school today, which is always worthy of comment. And those of you who watched the end of the vlogs will have known this last week, but I know a lot of you don't watch the end of the vlogs. This is why you should watch the end. You'd have known this a week ago. But today, he went to school as normal, but they added a new... Dave, do you have to knock the camera? Dave, sit! Sit! <laughs> He's just banging into it constantly. He deliberately walks past it to bang the tripod because he's annoying. Yeah, they added a new activity at school today. A new... Dave, come on. Come here. This is why I don't vlog in the house anymore. <laughs> it's nothing to do with that picture frame being wonky. It's that oh, dog well, being train. a pain in the bum. No, I refuse. I like it wonky. What was I saying? Yes, new activity. All to do with independence. <laughs> They, the bells, they went on the school minibus to the next town along from where the school is and went and to Sainsbury's. The they go to Tesco once a week the near the school. They walk there. But this time they went on the minibus to a Sainsbury's, did a bit of shopping. Good. And Dr. then Pepper drink, case of water. you have got a Dr Pepper drink and some water over there. 
You lot needed to know that, apparently. I'm never going to be able to tell you what he did. He got the bus. That, that's what happened. He got the bus home from school. Uh, not home from school. Home to school. That's... Oh, I've lost my mind. Oh, my gosh. They went what to Sainsbury's oh, on the minibus. They were what left there. It? Minibus left. And then they all had a little oh. bit of bus fare that was sent in. And they got the normal public bus from where they were, from the Sainsbury's, back to their school. So he got to wander around the shops, do a little bit of shopping, and then get the bus back to school. That That's the new thing. The yeah, other news... The baby Jim Bows. The other news... The baby Jim Bows. Yeah. I don't know what baby Jim Bows are. The other news is they've moved Food Bank. So Food Bank is no longer on Tuesdays. It's now going to be on Fridays. And that is because if they go on Fridays, they get to spend, their long, spend longer there. So he's going to have... This, the Monday thing, the going to Sainsbury's and getting the bus, that's going to be a regular weekly thing. He's still going to be going, walking to Tesco and doing his shopping there midweek. And now at the end of the week, he's going to be going to the food bank and having longer there uh, as part of his work experience in the food bank stuff. So it's all part of the stuff that he is gradually moving towards. He officially starts sixth form in September and the sixth form at his school is all about independence. That's pretty much all he'll do um, is independent stuff. And they're gradually moving him more and more towards that. And uh, this is just the next step. Me mentioning he just starts sixth form has just made Anna, Anna's lip has just dropped. That's amazing. <laughs> Why have you got a dropped lip over there? <gasps> oh my god, wow! Him starting sixth form is a good thing. Can you see, but he's my baby. Oh. No, he's nearly an adult human man. He needs to shave. What? Which, <laughs> I tell you what, that's going to be something we're going to have to do in the next six months, I reckon. There's going to be a shaving <gasps> video because oh, he has got a little bit of moustache coming in. Now, I'm not the man to. <laughs> when my dad taught me to shave, we stood next to each other at the mirror and he shaved himself while I copied what yeah, he was well, doing. I ain't shaving my moustache and beard off for nobody, so he might just become a yeti face oh, because oh I, ain't, I ain't teaching him to shave that way. I think what we'll end up doing uh -huh. is when we do the clippers over the top of his head, clippers on the face as well. Just they, my, my dad's new cut, the, the number one all over. We call it the granddad. Um, we even bought him one of those clipper things that's circular and goes in the palm of your hands. So he just rubs it on his head, then brings it round on his face, does his eyebrows. Go will get... Sir James and Mummy Daddy. We'll give him the granddad. Yeah, Mummy Daddy. Well, where do you want to go? Not, he wants to go to. We're not going to other food banks. <laughs> this is the other thing he's been asking for all weekend. He's he is. He is looking up where all the local food banks are and wants to just start visiting other food banks when he's not at school. Which I guess maybe in the summer holidays, some kind of volunteering won't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, chicken. But we ain't taking him to food banks. After school and stuff because chicken, yeah. We've got time. Are you looking at a chicken? You can tell he's after not had the chicken, camera on in here for a little while. He's going for his he's going for his full Lego. routine and performing yes. for yeah. you. You're playing Lego on the switch, aren't yeah. you? He was watching a video earlier where they were smashing switches and was talking about smashing no switches. No smashing. Like, exactly. Because no, we spent 20 breaking. minutes you're telling him he's not allowed to smash his. Because if he's if you smash your switch, you won't get another one. No yeah. smashing. Absolutely. Right, I'm going to go and make dinner. Thanks for the support as a channel member, Fames Railway Adventures. It is Tuesday. We are back at the gym again, and it's the first leg day I've done. I'm going to keep you up. It's not even 9am and you're yawning. Um, <laughs> it's the first leg day we've done since my knee exploded as part of my back exploding a couple of weeks ago. But I have a solution. Um, I was yawning because I was in arguments at 2am with Andy. So. Knee supports. That's my solution. Is that what you were doing? Showing my knee supports to everybody. <laughs> no, showing off my knee supports. I've hurt my shoulder getting up there, though. I didn't get that. Shut up, Siri. I now need shoulder support so I can show people my knee supports. And but yeah, Andy was up in the middle of the night at, what, 2 a.m.? Mm. Woke up, went to the toilet, got back in bed, phone blasting, whatever he was blasting. Yeah, because I basically I got up myself, turned the heating down, opened a window, went to the loo, got in bed. Two minutes later, he was doing. He got up, went to the toilet, got in, went in this room. I think he was stood there. He knew how, how he knows. <laughs> just stands. And then I heard his phone, and I was yeah. like. Turn it well, he went back to sleep, which he wouldn't have done six months ago. Mm. I think he's a little bit on edge because he's not going to food bank today when he normally would. So he's needing constant reminder that food bank's now on Friday, which is better long term because he gets more time there. Mm. But doesn't help him today because Tuesday's food bank day. Except it's not now. Right. 
Time for leg day. Much later in the day, it is quarter past six, as you can see. I'm joined by these two assistants. The reason I've put the camera on, this one over, no, this, this one over here, this one, that one. Um, we had a little bit of an issue at school today. Um, he's mainly had a really good day, but as I think we mentioned this morning, the date that he does, or the day of the week that he does food bank has changed slightly. So he was fine this morning, this afternoon, when he would normally go to food bank. Just a little bit of a, little bit of a not having a very good time, but he's got home. I've got his, through Andy's eyes, Jubilee Line video out, which he's watching on repeat. You can have the final part tomorrow, yes. And he's cheered up completely now. Part three, then finish. Part three, then finish, that's right. He's also already asking when we're going to go back to London. He was asking this morning if we can go in March, and we said, no. And then we said we might be able to go in April in the Easter holidays. And then he started telling us, um, what fair? Easter bank. Is there an Easter fair? Have we yeah. been to an Easter fair before? You lot would know as well as me. We would have vlogged it if we did. I don't remember one. But he was asking to stay down there again. And we've now got to let him down gently that next time we go to London, it will just be for the day. And we won't always next be staying London, in a massive yeah. Airbnb. Next London will be soon. I just don't know when. And it will just be for one day, I think. I just don't know. We've got to figure out what we can do and how we can do it. It'll be fine. Two. Amy's hiding because she's got o chilli two. down her shirt. It's the O2. How did you manage to get chilli down your shirt? O2. Yes, Andy, can you see the O2? Oh, you're looking at the O2 logo. O2 logo, get yeah. ready, Siri. I see. O2 another day. O2 another day, yeah. He really wants to go back. And you, you're just covered in chilli, aren't you? She's a disgrace. It is Wednesday. Wednesday means swimming day. I went swimming this morning and I'm feeling pretty good. I did four lengths without having to have a break, which might not sound like a lot to those of you who swim regularly or aren't as unfit as I am, but normally I do one length back again, so two lengths, have a little bit of a break, do two more. But this, but today I was doing them in blocks of four. So I set a new record on the old Apple Watch for uh, most calories burnt in a swimming session, most lengths done in a swimming session. It was... Uh, it's really good, feeling very good. This whole gym thing gets a little bit addictive, doesn't it? Uh, but it is now just after lunch. I've spent the morning, once I got back from swimming, um, getting loads of work done. I'm falling so behind on doing the, the challenge videos for the vlog because I, I don't seem to be able to get just a full day of being able to work. We always had the last couple of weeks where we were in and out of the house constantly going away and doing various bits and pieces. But Monday, of course, Anna's at work in the morning. So I'm at the gym in the afternoon and that disrupts the day. Yesterday, Anna starts work at three o'clock. So that disrupts the day. And today is Andy's parents' evening. So that's also going to disrupt the day. So I'm hoping at some point this week, hopefully by now, you've seen the no social media for a month video. And and the Slimming World video that are both kind of half finished, but I need to record clips for them and and just kind of get get the get the link bits between the between the bits that I filmed as I was going on. I need to get all those filmed and get it all edited together. And I'm only really getting time to do the football manager stuff at the moment. And I need like an extra three hours a day from somewhere. But it is Andy's parents' evening, so we're gonna head there in a second. I need to go to the post office on the way because I've got to renew both mine and Amy's passports. You don't need a passport, you are a dog. You don't leave the country. So I've got to send mine to Peterborough and Amy's has got to go all the way to Belfast, which I guess it's because it's a, a child's renewal. I did it all online. We took the pictures when we were down in London. We had a nice white, well-lit wall. So hopefully they won't take too long. Will they be red? Will they be the blue? Nobody knows but we need them to come through before we go to Disney at the end of May. They should take no more than about three weeks. And that's, of course, if we get to go to Disney, because every time I go on Twitter or turn the TV on, the coronavirus seems to be getting a little bit worse. So there's a little bit of panic at the back of our mind about what happens. I, mean, I know as responsible citizens, we should be more worried about, but what if everybody gets ill? What if disasters happen and things like that? And yeah, of course, that's all at the back of my mind, but I don't think that stuff's likely to happen. I do feel a little bit like, and it's a bit of a risk recording this on Wednesday when the video's out on Monday. The world could have ended by Monday, but I do feel a little bit like there's a certain degree of panic going on and it's a social media epidemic as much as it is a medical one because we haven't where the last big scare we had was what swine flu and we didn't have social media then so i feel like there's a lot of people feeding on other people and panic building panic but there is the fear that 
we won't get to go to Disney, which might seem like, oh yeah, get your tiny violin out. Family doesn't get to go to Disney for the second time in a year. Yes, but that young man who normally sits there, from the moment we got home from Disney last May, he has been asking at least three or four times a day to go back in May, and we've been promising we will. If we get to May and we don't get to take him to Disney, all hell will break loose. So, fingers crossed, it's not as bad as it looks like it could be. Or if it is, it's all done by then and finished. Because, um, yeah, it will be a nightmare trying to convince him, because he won't understand why we can't go. And not going to be much fun. But, less chat, need to go to the post office, post those passports, get to Andy's school, we've got to pay for his his residential school trip today as well. So loads of little admin bits to do, like normal parent adult stuff. This is what eats into my work time, having to be a functioning adult as well as a nerdy YouTuber. Passport application sent. We are super, we're like half an hour early for Andy's parents evening. So we're gonna go and ransack the local supermarkets the way everyone else seems to be doing and try and stock up <laughs> on crisps. We're, we're gonna buy more crisps and Andy food than we need just in case they run out. So we are, we're, we're making the problem worse. We're as bad as everybody else. We're gonna no, overbuy. We yeah, when we did our shopping order this week, which by the way, there was only one available slot for our shopping delivery was normally we get the whole, opportunity for the whole day but um yeah they didn't have any crisps to send so we are down to like one bag of crisps at home so <laughs> got sent this morning. oh so we've got no crisps at no. all at home so we better hope they have some um <laughs> in other news on the way here anna did get an email bad news about the job last week you didn't get it did no. you she hasn't run up for feedback yet because she's chicken but we'll find out I imagine it's because you didn't have the professional qualifications to be a, a CCTV lady. Yeah, I need an SYA. Whereas there was other people there who had a previous experience. But there are a couple of other vacancies that you've got your eye on. Well, there is so. one for, for Soco, but I just... I, it, it covers a large area that I don't really want to deal with. It's like a Cambridge, Hertfordshire, Bedford and That here. sounds awesome. I'd love that. I love travelling around but it, places. Yeah, but it says that the most than likely you won't do just your, your nine hours a day. It'll be over. And I, and like the shift pattern is like one till ten, mm. eight till four. I'm just like, mm, When would you look after me and Andy? Exactly. Let's go and ransack this shop. We're not total monsters. We left half of them on the shelf. And we need to clear the freezer out before we stock up on waffles and fish fingers and things. But... For now, if the mass hysteria continues, at least we're sorted for crisps for like the next week and a half. So it's evening complete, we are home. Um, Andy's watching something with somebody called Mr. Onions and filming it on his phone. So at some point in the future when he's watching that back, I'm gonna hear myself saying that Andy's over there watching Mr. Onions and filming it on his phone and it'll break my mind. Uh, but Parrot's evening went well. Uh, we, he, he's, they, they described how he's kind of 90% of the time, absolutely fine, making great progress, talking in sentences, being cooperative, working in 45 minute long slots now, which for anyone who was around a couple of years ago and knows how how massively chunked up his work had to be when he was first getting back to school, that's huge. He sat down and did 45 minutes of just solid maths work yesterday, which is awesome, huge progress. They showed us some certificates that they're working towards. What were they, AQA life skills things? They're not official qualifications, but he's gonna have a little portfolio of certificates when he leaves which is awesome and then there's the other 10% of the time where they've noticed that his his tolerance levels are just dropping which I think links back into the medication thing and the cam stuff from last week so and um, they're very happy to work with cams they're going to get in contact with cams themselves to try and hurry them along and get this person out who's supposed to be observing because they haven't two weeks ago we were told two weeks ago today in fact we were told someone from cams would be coming out to observe him in school and get an idea of of whether it's anxiety or whether it's a learned behaviour that's causing some of the issues in school. We all know it's anxiety and he just needs his medication upping, but they need to, they're gonna chase up cams and get that process moved a little bit quicker, get them into school. So if we can get that 10% eliminated again, that's awesome because three or four months ago, it was constant progress all the time. So I think just sort out the medication and we are all good, but it was very positive. You weren't very happy about staying until half past three though, were you? Thank you. 
and Anna's spent the afternoon looking at jobs on the internet, so she's just broken at the moment, and yeah. She spent so long looking at jobs. We will get some more applications done over the weekend, but it's um, it's one of those disheartening things when you get turned down for a job. And I've now got to build her back up again to help her apply for more. So let's all build Anna up and say, come on, Anna, go get a job. Is that, is that a helpful thing? I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. Go get a job, woman. <laughs> She's looking at me as if I'm doing it wrong. I think, I think I probably need to polish my social skills up a little bit there. Thanks for the support as a channel member, Ryan Morgan. It is Thursday, possibly the shortest daily clip you'll ever get in this entire weekly vlog series, I imagine, because it's nearly five o'clock. I've spent all day out here. I went to the gym this morning, obviously, but other than that, I've spent all day out here. Four videos made, proper first full work day with no interruptions in like three weeks. I needed it because I was getting behind on some stuff, but... It doesn't make for very interesting vloggy stuff. Um, we're going to be spending the evening in the house um, going through some job applications for Anna because of not getting the job she went for last week. So she's got a short list of four or five that we're going to, well, I'm going to help her put some applications together for customising her CV, that kind of thing. So I think we'll probably just see you in the morning. Friday morning, just back from the gym with my McDonald's coffee. This is this is my Friday treat because on Friday mornings, um, I, we have to leave a little bit earlier because I take Anna to uni, then I go to the gym and then I get home a little bit later and I just feel like I'm rushing around. So it's 11 o'clock and I'm just sitting down to do some work, but I have my McDonald's coffee, which makes it all better. Get some work done, crack home on the rest of the day. And then we have got fun planned for tomorrow. I was going to be telling you about Andy's latest food breakthrough, but Anna's making noises about new tights in the background. Do you want to explain to us what's going on over there? Why have you bought tights? I've never seen you wear a tight in your life. Oh, it's so nice. And I'm wearing my skirt. I've got my skirts up because they're so I don't like my legs. I see. So what tights? There you go, Anna has some tights. As I was saying though, food break for her over here, a weird one. Andy! He has gone to the food bank today for his new extended Friday sessions, as you can hear. He's very excited about it, he's, double, he's triple excited. Because he got to go to the food bank today, excited number one. He also, no, we paid for no, his... Kevin, what? he's got a coffee pot! My apologies, David got a hold of a coffee pot that we had to prize out of his clamped shut jaws because he's an idiot. Little Nespresso pod. What I was saying though, he's very excited for three reasons. Reason one, long food bank session. Reason two, he got to walk down to the school office today with a wad of cash to pay for his school residential trip, which he's really looking forward to, so that excited him. The reason three, at the food bank, he ate a food that has previously made him gag every time it's gone near him. He had some little Haribo fizzy sweets, which we've, we've never been able to have Haribo in the house because whenever he even <laughs> sees the logo, he starts gagging. But apparently, at the food bank, he'll just sit and eat Haribo sweets. Did you like your Haribo? Yep. <laughs> this situational, locational eating thing baffles me at times. It is Saturday morning. We are out and about and you get to see something you'll never see again unless we come here again. I'm wearing long sleeves. I hate long sleeves, but we're back at the Bouncy Castle place in Flater Nation that we came to a few weeks ago. Andy loved it, I loved it, and we're now bringing Amy here to sample a little bit of Saturday morning bouncing action. And we're done. Was that fun, everybody? Yeah. It was. We all just. Ten minutes I got to go on. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I enjoy it. Kevin. 
You didn't want to go on. Next time you're paying. <sighs> How dare she? Okay, Day. Next time I'm paying. Oh. Exactly. Right, okay. talking of paying, I'm now going to go and buy this lot breakfast. So, next time she can pay for breakfast, which probably costs more than bouncing. I don't know, we're trying to have our breakfast and then the riffraff come and interrupt us. Hello, riffraff. I failed my theory test. You failed your theory <laughs> test? Is that where you've been? Hold on, the camera's yeah. really... How did you manage to fail your theory test? Because um, I didn't get to do that much revision because I was revising for my last, my end of module stuff which um, I passed my exam by the way, did I tell you? No, you should have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just started my third module, okay. which is really exciting Excellent. stuff. Excellent, that's uni stuff. Yeah, um, because of that I didn't get to rise my theory that much. And I passed has a perception really well. I think you can show this, this doesn't have anything yeah. to... So there's Lucy's theory yeah. test. But I failed all the safety stuff quite heavily. <laughs> wow. They didn't have the hazard perception or safety stuff when I did mine. It only had to do with the theory itself. Well, like the multiple choice, it breaks down like what I failed in it and the safety <laughs> stuff I failed. So how soon until you're allowed to, pass, to take it again? Three days. Oh, okay. That's I'm going to do it again then. in a few weeks. I've got my first like act proper lesson on Thursday. So I think a few lessons, like actual lessons, I should be all right. But... Splendid. Riff Raff interrupting our breakfast. <laughs> Cheese for breakfast. You got a big enough pile of toast there, Andy. Yowzers. Yowzers on the good thing. Successful breakfast complete at Argo Lounge. We like that place. It's awesome and they're very friendly. Hello, if you're watching Argo Lounge people, you should be. I know it seems a little bit silly for us to make a big deal about being able to go and do that, but putting it into, but putting it into context, just, uh, just a few months ago, we couldn't have all gone and sat and had a breakfast like that in there because he wasn't eating in places like that, but he got to have his toast. We all got to have our breakfast. A lovely time was had by all. And now, going to the cathedral. Why am I really overexposed again? What is going on? Silly camera. Trip to the cathedral complete. They asked us not to film in there today. So if you want to see us walking around the cathedral, there's loads of other videos on the channel where you can see us walking around the cathedral. It just looks like a really old church. Of course, a trip into town wouldn't be complete without going and finding as many lifts as we can find. This one is in Primark. It seems Andy's too cool to walk with the rest of us these days. He knows where he's going. He's just marching off and going there. And we've just got to try and keep up with him. And all of a sudden it's Monday morning and I didn't turn the camera on at all for the rest of Saturday or Sunday. Uh, mainly because we didn't really do a lot. Dave is trying to climb across my computer because he wants to come and say hello as I say goodbye. There you go, Dave. I don't know why he felt the need to push up. As, as soon as I pick this camera up, he just has to get on me. It's mad. Uh, but yeah, we just, we got home on Saturday. Watched a couple of films, sat around, didn't really do a lot. Um, didn't really do a lot yesterday either. Um, sat with Anna for hours and applied for a few more jobs with her. Um, and then just sort of sat about. Didn't really do anything. Nice chilled out day. So uh, yeah, didn't really feel the need to turn the camera on for that. Um, as mentioned earlier in the video, right at the start of the video, um, you should have had the Slimming World video by now. It wasn't quite ready to come out at the end of last week. Uh, so it's going to be out Wednesday instead. So keep an eye out for that on Wednesday. And then later on this week, I've got this month's Q&A. So I'll put, a, I'll put a question up on the community page where you can add your, your questions for the Q&A on there as ever. Um, ask your questions, thumbs up the ones you'd most like to see answered and the, the most popular ones that we haven't answered so far on this run of Q&A will form the basis for a video that probably about Friday, Saturday time would be my expectation. But we will wrap this video up here. So if you have enjoyed this week's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for loads more of this, plus our other stuff I just told you about. And thank you very much for watching. Dave, you're going to have to cheer. No?